Uh, I don't think you get that in most places, and it speaks volumes. Brittany Justin. <laughs> DJ. It's better work the whole time. <laughs> you got see. I'm not a complicated person. <laughs> I want to make this special. You're gonna make this. See, you can do it without a microphone. You're yeah, I'll do. I'll do this part without a microphone. Okay. Hey, uh, <laughs> so for about. I gotta, I gotta get oh, he said no. Interview. Loud, but not loud. Do a dance floor. No, she can be loud, Francis. Oh, God, go ahead of that. I wanted tonight to feel more like all the women and family get together. So there will be dancing, but we want everyone to feel free to go inside. Be out here. Go inside. Be out here. We hear you, girl. The DJ doesn't have your best interest at heart. You know, regardless of how cool you think they are or whatever they say. Trust me, the DJ doesn't have your best interest at heart because the DJ is not getting paid by you. So unless if the DJ is part of your team and the DJ is, uh, you know, with you, then this is another situation. But if the DJ is not part of your team, if you are not paying the DJ, don't ever rely on the DJ for your perfect audio at the ceremony, at the reception, at nowhere. Am I bashing wedding DJs in this video? No, I'm not. Are all wedding DJs the same? No, they're not, you know? But I'm just saying, as a warning, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to have a contingency plan than not to, you know? If you fail to prepare, they say, then you need to prepare to fail, right? So that's why I have backups that have backups that also have backups. You know, always have a plan A, B, and C. Don't go to a wedding with just a plan A because trust me, not there's no wedding that's going to go as you want it to go, as anybody wants it to go. It's just going to go as it goes. So I say that to say this, um, have backup plans in, um, in motion. You know, always have backup plans. Always have extra, you know, external devices that you can use. You know, um, some of these things are cheap, like the Zoom H1s. You can buy two or three of those, you know, or maybe every after a few hours, few hours, I'm sorry, every after a few years, you can buy another one. After a few years, couple of years, or every every tax return, you upgrade on another one, or you get another one. That way, you have like about three or four of these devices. So that way, you know, you can mic the officiant, you can mic the groom, you can mic the bride, you can put a mic on the podium where the officiant's gonna be talking. You know, just have all kinds of contingency plans just in case um, one mic fails, the other one doesn't. You know, and if all else fails, of course, you got the audio from your cameras. But we all know clear audio comes directly from the person talking. So in this case, if you, you, you can mic the efficient, but also you can get audio from the DJ, which by connecting into the DJ system, you know, through your um, Zoom H1s or your H4Ns, Pros and stuff like that, but don't solemnly rely on the DJ and be like, all right, I'm going to get the mic from the D I'm going to, you know, get the audio just from the DJ. And then, um, I don't need to mic the efficient. I don't need to mic the groom. We're good here. Trust me. That's failed me so many times. I can't even count guys. I'll put some, um, some, some B roll of that happening 
but sometimes the mic goes in and out because the wireless mic of the DJ failed to work, you know, and guess what? That's your audio too, you know? So the, 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 the bride is doing her vows and she wrote something for the groom and she's reading it and the mic goes in and out, in and out. It's happened to me and I'll put a clip of that, you know? Same thing with the groom, he's talking, the mic is going in and out, in and out, and I plugged in to, you know, the DJ system. So it just means that my whole thing, my whole audio just got ruined right there by the DJ, you know? Cause they need to know their thing. But then again, don't rely on a DJ. You need to have backups in plan, you know? Generous, loving, and unselfish person I And grow with you. As the years pass, and you both grow older. Today I take you to be my husband. I promise to love you, respect you, trust you, and be faithful to you from this day forward and for the rest of our lives. I promise to give you one thing and respect our I vow to give you all of me, even when I feel. Um, I got tired of getting mad that I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna mic this person, that person, that person, and put a mic over there, and plus do a mic with the DJ so that way I'm not relying on the DJ because I'm not even 100% um, 100% relying on him because I know he's gonna fail me so I have these contingencies in plan uh, these contingencies in motion so in case that fails that's gonna work long story short guys don't rely on somebody you're not paying to do a job for you you know what I'm saying you're not paying them so they're not you know you don't have a contract with the DJ saying they're supposed to you know capture audio for you during the ceremony or during the toast you don't have a contract with them so you know don't rely on wedding DJs because you are gonna get disappointed um, I got some like I said I got disappointed so many times that I I'm so skeptical of even just like like asking a DJ to, you know, for me to hook up to their system. But I do that because I have other contingencies in place, you know, but, um, you know, if I get, if I happen to get good audio from the DJ, then good. But some DJs, they also don't know how to work their systems. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a sound guy. I'm not an audio person like that. So, when, the, when every DJ has a different system, you know, so when I ask the DJ, like, oh, can I hook this to um, your system? I'm expecting the DJ to already know where to place, you know, the quarter inch or the RCA or, you know, XLRs and stuff like that. But if a DJ start, starts asking you where to put them, then you already know you're not going to get the best audio from that dj so that's my um advice to you guys um never rely on wedding djs guys never rely on wedding djs always 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 um have contingency plans you know in motion you know never rely on wedding djs for your audio so that's the video for today guys i don't want to drag it out or you know Put add more to this make it a long story but you know I'm sure you understand and um, I'm sure you most of you guys have probably dealt with this situation where you know your audio gets messed up and stuff like that so you know never rely on uh, wedding DJs always have contingencies mic the efficient mic the groom you know and do all that so that's that guys um, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, that's that, guys. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you for watching. Hello? Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Um, well, I just want to say I love you guys both. Welcome to the family. I mean, you've been welcome to this family. Hey. 
I just want to say I love you. I know um, we don't have that, that much, much, that that much, much time. time.